Hi guys, welcome back. I'm very excited because we are leaving Auckland this weekend. I'm picking this up from the last video that went live on Sunday. Today's Thursday, I'm packing because we're going away tomorrow. So here's the thing <laughs> about skiing in 2020. <sighs> so Liam and I love snowboarding. We bought our season passes for Mount Ruapehu end of last year so this is obviously before the unprecedented times and everything was fine but um we had lockdown we had like we went snowboarding as you know in queenstown if you haven't watched the queenstown vlog watch it i will leave a little link does it go here or here one of these corners and you can and you can go and watch it but i actually bruised my tailbone which wasn't fun and it meant that i was pretty much out for the season but but because Liam and I didn't have, when we bought our season passes last year, we didn't buy the extra insurance package. So even though we had COVID and I had two death certificates because both of my nanas passed away during the ski season. And we obviously have weekends with funerals. And I also had a doctor's certificate saying that I couldn't really snowboard this season because I've got a bruised tailbone. That still wasn't enough. And they were still going to charge us $350 each to move the pass to next year. And we were just thinking, we don't want to do that. Understandably. Um, so I'm not going to lie, we were a little bit peeved about that. And we weren't really sure what to do. I was like, my tailbone's way too sore. I can't snowboard. Um, but I would say over the last maybe a week or so, it's felt a lot stronger. And at Pilates, I haven't felt any pain or anything. So we just thought maybe... There are a couple of weeks left in the ski season. We've now gone into spring skiing, but Liam and I have skied down there in like late October one year, and it was really good. So we thought if we do four days, so if we do two weekends, two days each weekend, that would make up for the cost of the season pass if you were paying for one day of skiing, if that makes sense. So yeah, we're going to try and do it. We booked a little room at a Backpackers <laughs> down in Oakuni, which is fine. Like, we're so used to that from traveling through Europe last year. Absolutely fine. I think it's going to be really fun. Liam and I are desperate for a little weekend away together. We are really quite excited. I've just started packing, so I thought I would show you some of the things I am taking away with me, just in case it was of any interest. This isn't everything because I need, like, knickers and socks and all that boring stuff. And obviously, I'm not going to put shoes on the bed. But let's start with my bag. So this is my gigantic oversized tote bag from Seed. I love it. It literally fits absolutely everything so that's what i'm gonna take with me over here i feel like i'm going back to queenstown i've got my um witchery merino gloves my mal beanie and then a seed scarf i don't actually know how cold it's going to be down there i have no clue and sometimes you look at the temperatures but when you're actually down there in the cold it feels completely different so i'm taking all of the warm woolies just in case track pants essential i have the barker's men's ones <laughs> and an extra small i absolutely love them they are 100 percent cotton they're fully fleecy they are so warm and snuggly i highly recommend them if you're looking for a new pair of track pants and then just as my slouchy jumper from wear hanging around in bed in the morning or whatever i've just got my new tommy hilfiger one it is really attracting a lot of lint look at that that kind of annoys me i need to get the lint roller out and sort that um i have a few tops we are going for three days so i've got just like a layering um long sleeve cotton t-shirt from seed i have this is actually a vintage ribbed black sweater um turtleneck i have no idea where it's from i'm pretty sure i stole it from my mum, and she said it was vintage so i have no idea but yeah that's just like a long sleeve good one to wear going out for dinner or whatever um and then my mild cashmere which is always an essential i'm just gonna take one pair of black jeans i can't be bothered taking more than one pair of jeans and when it's cold i never i never feel like wearing normal denim i just feel like wearing black denim so i've got my black a gold riley high-rise jeans you've seen these a million times and then in terms of outerwear i'm taking my nanushka um puffer jacket because i'm dying to get more wear out of this before summer really comes so i'm really stoked that i can wear this this weekend I'll quickly take you through my makeup bag so this is my harry and co 
It's like a khaki leather makeup bag with like brass hardware. And I am taking, okay. Sometimes there is no mirror in hostel rooms. So I'm taking my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate that has a really good size mirror on it. Taking my Hourglass Veil Powder, YSL Tushikla Concealer for under eye brightening. I'm taking my, I'm taking my Kosas Tinted Face Oil. If my skin gets really dry down there, this will probably be really good. RMS Beauty Living Luminizer is my highlighter. And then my RMS Uncover Up Concealer as well. I love their products. For bronzer, I'm taking my Nude Sticks Cream Bronzer in the Bondi Bay shade. And then the same one um, in the blush in the shade in the Nude. So I've been given the opportunity to work with Catrice. This is not the ad. The ad is going to be on Instagram. And I really like some of their products. They're actually at the warehouse. But this is just the most beautiful um, shade of lipstick. It's the one that I'm wearing today. Um, it's so good. And it's so hydrating. And it gives that nice like glossy finish. I'm really quite into it. And I've also been using it as a cream blush. Um, which has been quite fun. I actually struggle to find really hydrating lipstick, so I'm enjoying that. This is in the shade 020 Plumping Gel Lipstick. Uh, they also have quite a good brow gel. This is in the shade, oh god, I don't know. It's like warm brunette or something, but yeah, they have quite a good brow gel as well. And then it's just a whole bunch of brushes, which are boring. For skincare, ooh, I am taking my Aven cleanser. This is the Tolerance Milk Cleanser. I love it. Um, Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Essential in cold weather. My Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I have really grown to love this product. My Sunday Riley Juno Oil. I am obsessed with this. I need to have a good catch up with you guys on skincare because I've been trying a whole bunch of new things and there is a lot of goodness. Like this is amazing. I've literally just started testing this out. This is from Neod. This is the same brand that owns The Ordinary but this is kind of like the older sister of The Ordinary. So it's called Neod, the brand. And this is modulating glucosides but it's meant to be basically a serum uh, that helps like sensitive skin. So I'm testing this out during the day at the moment. Flannels, the most expensive essence ever, but my goodness, it is beautiful. I've been testing this out and so far very much enjoying. My um, Cosmetics 27 eye cream, love this stuff. Dermalogica skin smoothing cream, I forgot how much I absolutely love this. So this is coming with me. Gosh, my focus has been a little bit all over the show. Um, and then I just thought like on Saturday night, if my skin is feeling really dry, I'm just going to slap this on and go to sleep with it because this is like one of the best hydrating masks I've ever used. And then on the other side of the pouch, I have my wet brush, Way Super Dry Shampoo, Mecca Natural Deodorant. I have been enjoying this at the moment. I'm going to do a full review, but I like it, but you do have to reapply it during the day. <laughs> So take from that what you will. And just stuff like Willey to Skin Food. I quite like using this as a hand cream and a foot cream when it's dry. Contraceptive pill. This is full of like my two days worth of supplements. Hair tie. And then whenever I go anywhere that isn't my bed, I like to take a pillow spray just to make it feel a little bit nicer. So this is the one from This Work. You can get it at Mecca and it's gorgeous. And then I've just got my Embrilis. This is a moisturizer that I got in France last year and I love it, but it's about to expire. So I've actually been using this as a body moisturizer um, just to use it out so it doesn't go to waste. I'm taking my big Sabin olive handbag. I'm not going to show you everything in there because I want to do a uh, what's in my bag video. So I don't want to spoil it. But some additions that I'm taking and putting in there is obviously my Kindle. So I can read my book. Um, this is actually a fragrance that arrived today. And then my choice of sunglasses this weekend are my Versace's. Um, these are from my pay partnership with Sunglass Hut. I love them. They're like the squared off cat eye style with the um, gold V's on each side. Good morning from sunny Hobbiton. <laughs> We're driving through Matamata on our way to... It's actually Te Pukki, isn't it? Yep. Liam. Sure is. Got to do a work thing down there, so we're doing that on the way to the mountain, as I explained yesterday. Um, but we have a work thing. A work thing. We have our takeaway coffees, which we've already drunk, which were great. I had my 
collagen coffee this morning. But we just stopped off for a toilet break and to get a McDonald's banana bread from the McCafe. If you haven't had one of these before, you're missing out. And we got like a huge piece. <laughs> Look at this thing. Some more of that. It's huge. I think we got like the end of the loaf. How's that for a slice of banana bread? Not bad for four dollars. Banana bread is my favorite thing. Not just because it was so popular in lockdown. I've always liked banana bread before it became trendy. We are an hour away from our uh -huh. And we had to stop and get some more snacks because you just need snacks when you're driving. <laughs> For this many hours, we have Snickers pods. These are a firm favorite in our household, aren't they? We tried the new Malteser. Um, these are the ones with extra chocolate that just came out and we decided that they're too sickly sweet, like too much chocolate. And because they're thicker, you don't get as many in the bag. So that's our review. That's what I wanted the original one, originally. Yeah, I think I prefer the original ones. Those are full of extra sweet tools. Yeah. Anyway, so that's our review. Don't waste your time on these, just get the originals. Well, unless you're an extra sweet tooth, you might be an extra sweet tooth. That's true, but yeah. I like Must eating lots of Maltesers. Actually, but I like eating a lot of Maltesers. I've got these, these are my favorite corn chips. These are the jalapeno classic corn chips. And a um, bottle of Coke, no sugar. Road trip essentials. Oh, yes. So we've found our room. We're staying at the is it LKZ Lodge? LKNZ. LKNZ Lodge. It's kind of like a hostel, but we've got our own room and our own bathroom and that so kind of thing. Unit, yeah, it's a unit. Cute. We just want something cheap and easy for the weekend. Oh, this is literally perfect. Cool. Good views. Oh, a little bathroom. Oh, yeah, shower doesn't look terrible. We've got the perfect one here because that'll be a mountain view on a, on a sunny morning, see? So. Yeah. The mountain view right there. Right there. Yeah, that's cool. This is perfect. We just wanted somewhere cheap and easy to stay. Um, and clean, obviously, and not too, like, run down and old. I think it was, like, a $100 a night. I think we paid $200 for two nights. So yeah, if you want to do a little ski weekend and you're just coming on your own with your partner or whatever. I've just stepped foot in this place, but I would already recommend it. It's actually really cool, look. Yeah, this like is really cool. In Balcony. Spring, in the spring scene, you got a few minutes. You have like beers down on the tables and stuff. Oh yeah, that's cool. And, and, there's, the and there's spa pools here as well, apparently. Oh, look at that speedster. <laughs> I saw there were some bikes at the place we're staying at. We could go on a bike ride. I'm not sure how my tailbone would feel about that though. But the plan is, it's time. Um, it's 4.35, so dinner's still a while away, but we've decided to do the powder keg for dinner. Is it the powder keg or the powder horn? Or they're the same thing? Powder keg's a bar, powder horn's a hotel part. Oh, okay. But we're going to go there for dinner, so that should be very fun because it's very lodgy and cozy. It's just nice to have that last little taste of winter. Maybe the Powderhorn's a restaurant. I don't know. Because then there's a Matterhorn. That might be the hotel. Oh, it's very I don't confusing. Know. They're all horns and kegs and powders. Oh, this is where we're going for dinner. Can't wait. Powderhorn Chateau and then the powder keg which is the restaurant bar but you could also stay here if you wanted. Look how cozy and moody our view is tonight. So pretty. So we went home had a quick rest and now we're back to where we were before the powder keg. I have never been here for dinner so I'm incredibly excited it's so pretty I feel like we're back in Yosemite or something this is exactly what like Lake Tahoe and Yosemite is like Ooh. oh there's a ghost 
First row. And wow. Oh yeah, there's no snow either. <laughs> That's the cafe. And there's no snow. So this is gonna be really interesting because I'm the type of girl that really struggles when there's not really enough snow and it's too icy or too rocky. Look at the top of the but I'm gonna... that looks good. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go up really, really high. All the way up there at the very top and that could be good wow so pretty though oh, oh i just realized i just did my makeup but i left a bit of powder on my face um and the thing with spring skiing is that it's warmer and sunnier and it's warmer and you tend to be able to like ski without a jacket that's normally so warm up there but the thing you have to be really careful about is that because it's warmer and the snow reflects the sun it's really easy to get burnt and two years ago when we came down here i think we did a ski yeah end of october my entire like bottom half of my face got burnt but this area on my lip like completely burnt it was like is that two years ago see, a scar. That there is scarring from, yeah, that was two years ago. And um, it completely like blistered over. I had this huge blister and then it scarred and it scabbed. And it was there for like maybe a year and I was so insecure about it. But it was very painful. So we have a lot of SPF. I've got the Mecca SPF 50 that I'm going to be applying liberally. I need a coffee. I'm so tired. I didn't sleep very well. Absolute essential and they look good eh? We were a little bit suspicious. Sometimes coffee on the mountain can be a bit hit and miss. Open the lid up. Ooh. Helmet time. Sure is. Ooh, new goggles. I've got all of my new gear as well. I've got a balaclava over my face so. Oh have you not worn these yet? Didn't you buy them in Queenstown? No. Oh, nice though. to get food and they announced that the mountain was closing. We were in the line to get food and they were like, nope, the mountain's closing. So we're now at the Blind Finch, which is the really cool burger place here in Awakuni. And they now have a bakery, which wasn't here last time we were here. So Liam's got a sausage roll. I've got a pie. Classic Kiwi gal I am. Liam got a strawberry danish. Oh, strawberry and custard. Mm. Mm, strawberry and custard. Those of you who come down here often, or even have been down here once, probably know 
about the special chocolate eclair bakery. No, it's not a bakery. It's like a dairy, like a superette. Anyway, it's like really, really famous and it's like this little dairy owned by this older couple and it's the famous eclair dairy and we're going to get a chocolate eclair and they're like all homemade absolutely beautiful and delicious and i've been daydreaming of this since the start of winter and i'm very excited but liam just had a pastry so you don't have any room left do you for chocolate eclairs i'm supposed to tell them they're within 20 minutes of each other no true yeah, but you're a lot bigger than i am so your stomach is <laughs> bigger than Make mine look like it. Okay. so we eat very healthy. Just, just want to clarify. We eat very healthy Monday to Friday. Oh yeah. On the weekend. Only spinach and lettuce. On the weekend, we pretty much eat whatever we want. Proper signage on it and everything. <gasps> Look at the this. This is new. I've not seen it like this before. Uh, the chocolate eclair so shop. Oh, it is okay. It's a bakery and a dairy. If you're not from New Zealand, the dairy just means like the corner shop, the super it. It's old. the dairy. Huh? It's the, um, <gasps> they call it the 7 Eleven. Yeah, 7 Eleven. They've got that in Australia. Straight into it, eh? Oh, <laughs> oh my god, you've got cream on your face! <laughs> Yum. It's just so imperfect and rustic and just beautiful. But it doesn't look like your, your normal eclair, it's quite a light looking chocolate. Pastry is like really soft. There she is. So when you're not allowed to ski, you sightsee. Wow. The ah, carrot. Freaking amazing. They've made like an entire oh, look, playground a, a out of vegetables. Cute. An onion. Oh look, there's a little race car. It's a turnip. And that is pretty much it for the tourism department. Hey babe, do you reckon they only gave me a Jaffa because I'm from Auckland? Do you like Jefferson? No, I don't. There you go. How rude. <laughs> I had a nap. It was so necessary and lovely. It's about quarter to four and to get through the rest of the day. We need coffee because we've got up at six and I didn't have the best sleep so... We're in the spa and it's lovely. We've got sore muscles from this morning so this is perfect. There's actually two at this place, there's one behind us as well. Very cool. I think this is going to be our new place where we, when Liam and I, come down here to go snowboarding by ourselves. It's a really good spot to stay. They got sparkles here. Our room is actually up there, and then down here is a cafe, and then over there is like a common room with a pool table and stuff, which is quite cool. So the plan is continue enjoying the spa and then oh, the thing is we want to go back to that well, we want to go to this burg place which we love and they have like 20 different styles of burger from like all around the world and it's so good but we had burgers last night but at the same time it's just like meh you just have to eat what you feel like eating even if you eat the same thing for dinner <laughs> two nights in a row and yeah other than that i think we're just gonna chill in our room this is so nice Good morning. Kidding. What? Oh. I was asleep. Oh. Good morning. 
<laughs> so we had torrential I wouldn't even call it rain, I would call it storm all yes. night long like storm so loud keeping us awake and this morning it's continued on like it's just so rainy and we've got a small pocket where the rain stops so we may as well get out because we've just parched and we're going to get some breakfast come on poppet Let's get some eggs. That's a mood. You guys can just go ahead and start calling me the banana bread queen. I'll take it. They're also secretly telling us they don't want us here. <laughs> Here you go, you bloody Java. Go on. <laughs> My favourite thing ever in cafe culture is when you order something like a banana bread and coffees and they come out straight up, straight away, like way before your meal. You get to enjoy your coffee before your meal arrives. This is one of my favorite simple pleasures of life. <gasps> big bricky for the big man. Have you got mushrooms, toast, bacon, scrambled eggs? Mm -hmm. I don't like scrambled eggs. I have poached eggs. You are perfect in every way. Hello from present day Ash. Um, I'm just editing this and I just want to say sorry. I feel like the screen was blurry a lot of the time um, But also that I forgot to end the vlog So hope you guys are having a good week and thanks for watching and I will see you on Sunday for another video. Bye